Okay, we're still exploring Meridian. You're everything I'm not. Strong, brave, active. Come, talk a spell. We already talked. Mm, yes, you look capable. Y you might do. Come here, if you will. These damn us are stirring up tensions. I'm keeping my eyes open. Well, let's see what this person trades in right here. We haven't talked to... Uh... Okay, so we talked to this guy. I thought there was two over here. I guess it's just those two right there. King Avad is too busy betting Oseram to break the rebellion in some. These are dark days. Machines have gone feral all across the land. There is a path that goes up. Who would willingly live on piles of scrap taken from the, the old ones? here. The Oseram, that's who. But someone must have seen the thief. That ain't it right there, I don't think. Nah. Uh. Ah, uh, this is my favorite guy. <laughs> Able-bodied adventurers, very, preferably uh, with no friends or family. Savage. But I'm not choosy. Someone over there. Oi there, Outlander. Name's Vilgund. Did you come to the city looking for work? Oh, good shards. Enough to buy garb more becoming of your... Okay. Stop there, if you want me to hear you out. I, I only meant uh, a well-molded woman such as you. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> I heard an interesting rumor about a Banuk camp. Tame machines, the rumor said. So I, uh, I hired men to investigate. To, just investigate, that's all. Uh, those Banuk are canny, too canny. I paid up front. Well, uh, half up front. I I've had no word back. So now you're hiring someone to find the last men you hired. <laughs> They're a sunk cost. This rumor's worth more to me. So the look on her face, I mean, they really did a good job on the facial expressions. <laughs> Just the look on her face when she was listening to him. And how she held her hand out and told him to stop right there. So is there any more to the rumor about this camp? <laughs> the last bunch just wanted to know about the reward. <laughs> You're a smart one. This camp isn't even big enough for a name up where the snow won't thaw. They say the Banuk there live alongside machines. Peaceful as you like. Keep them, use them, sing to them. If it's true, if we learn how they do it, think how valuable that would be to all the tribes when you say valuable you mean they'd pay you for it girl I'm not made of straw what can you tell me about the Banuk the Banuk women snow witches all cold eyes cold <clears throat> they choose to live up there in Ban Ur in the ice trying to have a conversation it's like chipping them out of the stuff they prefer machines for company that's why i'm putting my shards on this rumor then they might not want outsiders to know about this place 
<laughs> Their mystic act. No care for possessions, for luxuries. Pile of slag. Those people bargain harder than the winter frost. Are you some kind of merchant? You don't seem to have any wares. Mm, more of an explorer. But you send other people to do your exploring. <clears throat> All right. More of an opportunist. Uh, girl. Nora, girl. <clears throat> Huntress. We live in a world of opportunities. Risky opportunities. But why should risk stand in the way of a lucrative prospect for the likes of me? All right. I'm more of a gambler. If I did look into your rumor... You won't need to climb up the shoulders of the world for it. It's on the edge of Banuk land, beneath the anvil of the moon. And you look like you know your way around the savage east. Uh, um, the east. If it's true they walk among machines without fear in this camp, well... You can't miss that, can you? Payment on return. I already talked to the witness. I got to talk to him again. There's another one. I know there's a way to get up to the next level. I thought I was already on the next level. Remember, nobody else is going to worry about those. They're for you. Naman. My apologies that we meet like this. Like this? In grief. You hold yours close, like a talisman. Wait, forgive me. You didn't come for reparations? Someone you lost to the Sun Ring? Oh, uh, no. I know about the Red Raids, but the Karja owe me nothing. I see. Well, I could use the help of a strong willed outlander then I would owe you very much indeed. These people seek to honor their loved, their lost, with their own voices, not mouthing Karja rituals to Karja stone. But there are obstacles. And while Meridian holds its breath for any disturbance, these robes only tie my hands. Uh, what kind of obstacles? The first pilgrim is an Asaram. Who seeks to visit the shrine of kings on the road to the city. He waits there now, forbidden to enter by an old sun priest who suffer no heathen. This Utaro lost her companion on the edge of the jewel, at a pool where snap moths gather. The shrine was built there to ward off the machines, and its effectiveness leaves much to be desired. And the Manuk would paint a mark on the sun's climb, a call to the machine spirits, I understand. They need no beckoning. Glindhawk's perched there, drawn to the spire's shining. So clear the machines out of two shrines and move a priest out of the other. All I can ask for is your charity and that their stories are heard. 
Naman, rituals and prayers can't bring back those who are lost. No. But it can help those who grieve to find themselves. It can lend them strength and hope, like a new sunrise. I didn't think your priesthood would ask outsiders for help. If only the sun would set on our pride. Until this is done, I am no sun priest. To wear a red robe was an aspiration. I aspired. Now our hoods make us blind. We whisper reconciliation, but forget how the old king's priests sang the words and blessed the killing. The killing? You mean the Red Raids? Yes. And the sacrifices that came after. Why did the priests go along with all that bloodshed? Sometimes we Karja are more concerned with what is tradition than what is right. Huh. Maybe the Karja and Nora aren't so different. You're disappointed with the Sun Priests, but you still wanted to be one? I spent my whole life looking up to the temple. My brother's voice echoing in his arches. Even he couldn't turn me away, and how he tried, in the end. He said, when we were loved, our robes were dyed in cinnabar. Now they are stained in blood. How so? Our robes are handed down to us. Most of the old priests fled rather than be seen in the glare of a new sun. And so we are left to wear their sins. For me, at least, they hang heavy. I'll do what I can to help those in mourning. To honor their memories is to honor us all. Now you want to talk to these two people here, just for the hell of it? I, for I didn't do it in my first... You look like you've traveled far, Outlander. From the Great Plains. But not alone. Never alone. This was a city of cages two harvests ago. Wooden bars leave marks. I kept those marks. I can still feel the bars. They took you as a slave. But you escaped. During the liberation. My friend and I, they'd put us to work in the quarries together. We'd grown alike, so we fled together. But in the smoke, the trees, we ran right into the machines. I kept running. I thought she was just behind me. She is still. Wherever I go, just behind me. And that's why I came back. To finally free us from that moment. But I need your help to do it. So, she is from the Forbidden West. If I'm looking at her outfit right, she is... Uh, uh, from Plain Song, uh, what the heck was the name of that tribe? But uh, yeah, she is not. Uh, I trust the sun has watched over you on your trials. I'm still working on the trials, and I guess it's still watching. I've been asking the nobles of the Sun Court to hear out my cause, just the grace of their ears. You want me to shake them down too? Don't tempt me. I'm still <laughs> a priest. But uh, I. Uh, why does it want me to ask him about his brother again? Oh well. I have to go. Uh, light. I uh try to remember what they were called. Ataru, I think. But uh I'm an old man. Uh but that she looks like she's an Ataru, which is from the uh from the Forbidden West. It's not in here, it's out in the West. And then this is a Banuke. You're not like the others. You wear machine parts, but you hunted them yourself. How can you tell? A hunter knows a hunter. My people run with the great metal herds among the northern glaciers. But the glint hawks at Sun's Climb are too strong for me. So I cannot fulfill my vow to paint the story of my people there. How the madness of the machines spread to the Karja, and they sent their soldiers, Feet Frost Black, and to bring us here in chains. Our shamans, who sing the machine songs, many were taken to their deaths. Their songs go unfinished in Banur. Help me honor them. Help me paint their story. I ask you this, hunter to hunter. Okay. And the other guy you got to talk to is where you... Uh... So I'm going to go for the one we're already on. Because... Uh... 
it's a pretty big one. There's there's a, a lot of bandits to be killed. And you know how I love killing bandits. So where am I going to, Sonny? Where is the marker to show me where to go? All right, you're killing me. I got to I got to go back downstairs. Up oh, there we go. Getting a marker again. I don't know why it wants me to talk to the witness again. So it says talk to the witness. And he's back over here. If I remember right. Maybe, maybe not. Uh, yeah, he should be back this way. Yeah. Run, geese, run! Ah, you're everything I'm not. Strong, brave, active. Come, we'll find better wares. I told you what I saw. The thief rolled out the window, sword in hand, and fled by me. Okay, it still says talk to the witness, so I must be looking for witnesses. Somebody else who might have seen it. I know there's a couple people you do talk to. There's a guard under the last one. Won't cost you a shard just to look. Fine, good. Come take a look. I'll give you a good price. Okay, now, she's the one that does the Banuk statues, but she's not uh, talking to us yet. Now she wants to talk to us. These aren't goods, they're necessities. You're looking for artifacts. Yes, but I'm no profiteer. Sun King Avad has named me an envoy to the Banuk. I work on their behalf, looking for sacred relics to return to their homeland. Ben Ur. I'm especially interested in wooden figures that are sometimes found near Ben Ur rock paintings. If you have any, I have valuables to trade for them. Tell me more about these Ben figures. Simple wood sculptures made by Arnak, a legendary hunter who was exiled from Ben Ur for killing his chief. He left the figures near painted stones in places that reminded him of his homeland. Later, his tribe declared him innocent. Now they see him as a kind of wandering hero and want those figures back. I do what I can to help him get them, including trade for them. If you have any. You said the king named you an envoy to the Banuk? Yes, I've been to Ban Ur many times, and the Wirek chiefs trust me. I help them maintain diplomatic ties with Avad. Some say there are mysterious people, but their ways make a lot of sense to me. All you have to do is be the best. Doesn't matter if you're born high or low, man or woman. They respect skill, not some fool notion of heritage. I see the appeal. I wish more Karja did. Anything they don't understand, they call backward or savage. So I really don't want to trade any with her yet, but I think you have to have pairs. You ready? Let's trade then. So see, I got enough to buy the first one right there. And I guess we can buy it and see what we get. Come on back if you find any Banu goods. Excuse me, Outlander? I'm looking for Banuk artifacts. Let's see what we got from the Banuk. This one right here. It's purple, so it should be good. Oh, it's got more boxes in it. And 500 shards. Well, that's pretty good. a bunch of green modifications. Oh, there's a purple one.
Remember, you can hit the triangle button on the top to take everything. Okay, so now... Uh, there's something else I was going to do while I was in there. Oh. Let's see. Uh, we might as well. We got eight skills. So, uh... That would be six of them right there. Trying to make sure I'm trying to get the ones I really think I need. take this one here okay so now we're starting all over again check out these wares it's a noble you there outlander do you have relics to trade So it's not telling me where to go. You'll like what I have for sale, I We're supposed to. Won't cost you a shard just to look. That's nice. Glad I stopped for a bit. Come out and not uh you like to buy something today? our trail's gone cold. And so we're gonna we'll find better wear I know this lady's who we're supposed to talk to right here. Is that really all you have? It won't do at all. I was pretty I've sure. All the best goods here. The sun's coming up. Maybe it's her. Found any Banuk relics in the wilds, Outlander? Did someone run past here, holding a sword? Sure did. He grabbed some linen off the stand here and took off down the stairs behind you. He was bleeding, so maybe he needed a binding. Blast it! That was expensive cloth. I can't believe I paid for that thief's bandage. Don't pass up these goods. Trail's gone cold. If the thief came this way, there's only one way he could have gone. Forward. Now remember, when you highlight people that show up like that, that usually means you can talk to them. Sign of the thief. Someone must have seen him go by. Be on your way, Nora. Oh, you people are so rude. Did you rude. see anyone run through here? He would have been holding a sword. Yeah, almost crashed into me too. He ran down the parapet here and went down the lift. No way you'll catch him now. I didn't see a sword though. He wasn't carrying anything. Not a damn thing. Just ran like his ass was on fire. The thief That's must have it. ditched the sword. But where? Maybe he had help. That merchant stall would have been a convenient drop off. The hunter's law should never have admitted those women or subjects. It's a wonderful. Good. 
It looks like the thief got away, but without the sword. I thought maybe he dropped it off somewhere. Like here, for instance? What? No. I had nothing to do with this. I guess we'll see when I get the city guard to toss your stall and question your customers. Uh, hold on. There's more to this. You've got a reputation for shining light in the darkness, so I know you'll listen. You're right. The sword was passed to me, and I passed it on to someone else. It's going to be sold, but not for profit. The shards will go to people in need. You expect me to believe that? I can prove it. Meet my friends at the water mill in the lower village. They'll explain everything. If they don't convince you, come right back with the guards. I'm not going anywhere. It wouldn't matter if you did. I'd find you. <sighs> but all right. I'll check out the water mill. Okay. I guess I should go to this water mill then to find out what's going on. Does tradition mean nothing anymore? There was a time when the machines were predictable as day and night. One thing I can say for you, Nora, not much for putting on airs. There's a lot of red leg room to be had. Uh, also, there's a lot of read me stuff in here. So you got to keep your eyes open for it. So we get to ride on our elevator for the first time. Be careful because sometimes them stupid doors will be open and you'll just run right into it. And then when you run into it, you're going to fall and die. How big this place is? I didn't notice her hair flopping around. I wasn't paying attention to that. You'll like what I have for sale, I promise. Come take a look. I'll give you a good price. Won't find better wares. Metal bot here. Good prices. Fair prices. Don't forget to... Would you like to buy something today? Fairest prices for machine parts under the Mesa. No tithes to the Sun Court. Not like those greedy snarls upside. She's not interested in taxes. I know what she's not interested in. As I was saying, no better offer for snap ball lenses. I'd give my oath on it. By the sun, don't start spitting in your palm. Huntress, I apologize on behalf of my partner. Silent partner. Silent partner. If the sun would only grant my prayers. Never mind snap more lenses, Huntress. There's no market for those. 
A long leg lens, though, you'd be well rewarded for. Nice. I'm seeing a lot of characters that I'm talking to. Well, I can think of two, him and another guy, that they looked more oriental in the original one. And uh, I don't know what's going on with that. I mean, they look good. They look better, but they don't have that Asian uh, look. So they're not arguing. They're usually arguing you say I'm standing right here, but maybe they'll argue after I say this. So which, uh... No market for a snap maw lens is good, strong stuff. You can hammer it into anything. Where do you think we are? Some trading post with sawdust on the floor? This is Meridian. We have culture. I know culture. Just the other day I was watching the hunting trials. Oh, great sun, lend me the strength of midday. The sun's baked your head if you think we'll shift long leg lenses at a time like this. Uh, hello? I've told you as many times as the spire is tall, craft and artisanship is who we are. Craft doesn't win a war or keep the machines from your farms. What you need is good, old-fashioned, plain... Oh, yes. Old-fashioned, plain, hammered work. If ever something glittered, you'd throw it back. If Karja had built that elevator, they would have stopped at a good-looking shaft. All those years of delving, and you never found a sense of humor. Enough! Well? They're a blunt people, the Nora. Why do you two even work together if you can't agree on anything? <sighs> it's a symbolic gesture. No tithes to the Sun Court, like I said in the beginning, Renine. Just... just tell me which part you want. A long leg lens. A snap my lens. Fine. I can see that you're busy. Wait, wait! You drove her off. Snap my lens. What do you say? I drove her off? <laughs> That's rich. Listen, Huntress, long leg lens. Hunters, scroungers, Don't bring us your medals. Scroungers? What kind of brutes are you trying to attract? We were agreed. I do the calling, you do the counting. I wouldn't say agreed. I don't complain about your counting other than it takes too long. I wouldn't have to check it twice if you'd stop droning in my ear. Would you like to buy something today? These aren't Get out of my way, kid. Oh, you'll regret not stopping when you're in the thick of it. Would you like to buy something today? Where am I going? I have family who fled the sunfall. I hope this ceasefire leads to real peace. Oh, I think this guy's uh, a weasel. Don't pass up these guys. My family might yeah, I'm pretty behind. sure he's a weasel. You're going to stand here and do nothing? We've lost a dozen patrols beyond the. Valley. Oh, maybe not. It's somebody clear. else. He's a weasel too, though. Tell me what happened to your family. Maybe I can help. By the sun, I fear they are all dead by now. I barely escaped alive. Machines, vicious machines, attacked my family's estate. Father sent me to get help. What kind of machines? Where did they come from? A ravager. By the sun, how it cut down those guards, and a pack of watchers came with it. The Sun King warned us that he could no longer protect freeholds beyond the valley, but... Well, Father never saw this coming. Tell me more about the estate. My father owns a dozen quarries, and he's put his spoils into the estate. Fine tapestries, custom woodwork, silver fixtures. But what about the people there? Of course. Their lives are all that matter. My father and sister, plus a dozen guards and servants. I hope they survived. I'll see what I can do about the estate. You will? Oh, thank you. Oh, please, be careful. Those machines are deadly. Yeah, he's kind of a weasel too. But there's another guy that's real weasel. It's fine that women are rising in the Hunter's Lodge. 
See, there's enough quest out here to make freaking three or four videos. Especially when you can only do an hour long one at a time. Oh, I know what I was going to do. I need more fatty meat. I got to start killing killing vermin. Okay, so now I need to kill vermin and get fatty meat. And I'm probably going to need another 200 pieces of Ridgewood before it's all over with. And I need to get uh, healing plants. And I see one up here. Basically, almost any plant that's red... Uh, and then there's these kind of bluish silver ones too but you usually only find those in the cold and there's another one that's really it kind of looks red but if you look at it it's more of an orange that's your file fire candle root for making your fire potions But yeah, this is a like this one right here. See, that's kind of orange. I might need that. This one, uh, this game is, uh, it's got a lot to do in it. Some pray, others drink, but I prefer a lazy moment to myself. One of these days, I'm gonna look him in the face and tell him I quit. I gotta take over my brother's ship today. I'm sure as the sun's rising, he's off the court that no I was told to expect you, Aloy. I suppose you want answers. Well, it's not complicated. We collect valuable objects from people who don't need them, sell them for shards, and use the money to help the needy at Sunfall. You mean you steal? If you want to call it that. From hogs who've had their turn at the trough for generations. Ravon didn't seem like a hog to me. He stinks just like the rest of them of wealth and contentment, while people beneath him suffer. Who exactly gets the shards at Sunfall? Not the bastards in the fortress. We use the shards to make sure the poor in Shadowside get to eat, or bandage their wounds. They only went west because they had to. Trust me, I know. My wife was chained up with a bunch of servants and herded with them. They starved to death, still bound together. I'm... I'm sorry. So am I. Where's the sword now? Safe. I haven't sold it yet. What do you expect me to do now? Walk away? I was hoping you'd help us. They say you can track like a stalker. Well, my partner, Nassan, disappeared near the branded shore. He was bound for Sunfall along with an entire shipment of food. If you found that, you'd be helping a lot of people. I'll consider it. But only if you return the sword to Ravon. I knew you were gonna say that. Fine, I'll return the damn blade. Nassan was supposed to meet his contact at an old campfire on the fork near the branded shore. Start looking there, but be careful. Lots of machines out there, and lots of Shadow Karja. And not the needy kind, but they're tormentors. Go. 
Okay, so the last time I took this mission, there was probably 20 Shadow Carger. And uh, I died a couple of times. That's how hard it was. I had to really think strategy out. Wasn't easy. Had to do a lot of sneaking and sniping. See how they're red and kind of tall? And see this one here? Kind of tall. Saving these for the trail. The ones that are knee high are the fire kindling. I got a lot of corruption. Uh, what is it called? Corruption glaze. I got a lot of that. So I might start making a dozen of them every time I uh, go to sell them and sell a whole dozen. Make a, make a dozen more and sell them down to six. Oh, can't grab that sucker. See how those are kind of like knee high? And they're more orange than they are red. Now that we're full, anytime we come up to a red one, it'll have a it, the top of it will be red. Means we're we don't have any more room in our inventory. arrows make six arrows start getting some meat Shooting very good today, am I? Looks good. Remember, you don't have to walk up to the campfire to discover it. You just got to get within a certain range of it. Good meat. And fatty meat's what we need, so... Uh,
Might as well save while we're here. And we didn't get any. I think it's fatty meat. Yeah, we need five fatty meat. Chargers. <laughs> Unless they did change anything, they're a little harder. Okay, so we're going to go to, uh, let's see. Okay, so we need to do large machine. That's not a large machine. Uh, big, big machines. Uh... Okay, chargers. These are small machines and medium machines. Okay, so chargers are small machines. See how they don't die so easy? For some reason, they don't die as easy as the other ones do. Picked up another box out of him. But we're getting a lot of more shards out of those chargers. So now the next time we need that is either going to be one large machine or uh, we're going to do that later. Or uh, long legs, sawtooth, ravengers, bellowbacks, tempered. Say scuttlers? What the fuck's a scuttler? Hmm. Don't know if I know what that one is.
Now somewhere around here there's some stalkers. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Somebody sees me. I'm in the you notice how I was still in the tall grass, but the eyeball above my head was open. And if I remember right, the uh, rope caster won't work in the water.
All right, he's gonna burn. So we got uh, four minutes left. Yeah, if I was doing this on my computer, I could just. I'll uh, find a use for you. I could just uh, keep on going, but on the PlayStation, I only get an hour's worth of recording. Unless there's a program I can use that'll do different, and I haven't found one yet. seen any health potions anywhere. Healing plants, not health potions, healing plants. There's one. Save these for the trail. Good for an old remedy. Okay, so I need to go back to here. We got 30 seconds left. All right, we got five seconds left. 